Konnichiwa and welcome to Sumo Prime Time. I'm Hiro Morita. It's day eight, the Nakabi or the halfway point of the 15 day New Year's tournament. Well, as you know, Sumo Prime Time has been doing its best to show how wonderful and fascinating Sumo is to a worldwide audience. Well, on day six, we met with some people who are also trying to introduce Japan's national sport overseas. They are the Sumida Community Ambassadors. Sumida is the ward where the Kokugikan, the home of Sumo, is located. The selected ambassadors are from various countries. They will search and find Sumida Ward's attractive spots and precious cultures and introduce them to countries and regions around the world through various social media. During their visit to the Kokugikan on day 6, the community ambassadors got to meet with Shiranui Oyakata, former Komusubi Waka Koyu, and asked some questions on Sumo. I also had the opportunity to meet and speak to them and explain what Sumo Primetime is all about. Did you learn anything new about Sumo? Oh, a lot, oh. actually. I mean, I have also learned, I, I never knew that it has some, you know, religious elements and everything because I was looking at Sumo as just only sport. So I saw the Shinto elements and them stretching on the stage and stuff. I got really surprised learning about that. Thank you for telling us Thank you. about that. And actually, my family is from Mexico, so I'm also recording uh, in Spanish. So I hope that it also expands to Mexico because I think that, that wrestling in general is very popular, so I think sumo could be the next big thing there too. Thank you. One thing I noticed recently is the increased number of people from foreign countries attending Grand Sumo tournaments. We hope the Sumida Community Ambassador's promotion of sumo will encourage more people from overseas to come to Japan and watch sumo live. I just like, I'd like to, I'm happy to see you. Okay, now let's see how things played out on day eight. We begin with the action in Juryo. It's the one and only undefeated Asano Yama going up against Gono Yama. Asano Yama gains an inside position. He goes after Gono Yama. Gono Yama fights back. Gono Yama with all guns blazing off this, but Asano Yama gets the unlock and he hurls Gono Yama to the deck. Asano Yama wins and he goes to 8-0 Kachi Koshi for the former Ozeki here in Judea. Now let's move into the top Makuchi division. Taka Keisho entered day 8 as one of the tournament leaders at 6 wins and 1 loss. On day 8, he took on Nishiki Fuji. Sharp touch eye by the two. Look at them go after each other, trading haymakers. It is Taka Keisho advancing, Taka Keisho knocking on the door, but the Nishiki Fuji retaliates. Nishiki Fuji goes forward, Taka Keisho circles away. Nishiki Fuji on the attack, but Taka Keisho slips to the side and takes Nishiki Fuji down. Taka Keisho green from his mouth, but this fierce battle goes to the Ozeki. Taka Keisho goes to 7 and 1. Here's another Rikishi at 6 and 1. That is Daisho. He clashed with Meisei. Explosive catch eye by the two. Daisho pulls. Meisei goes. Meisei attacks Daisho. Daisho slips to the side. And it is Meisei taking to the next Meisei. Out of the universe, Daisho. And Daisho gets pushed out from the rear. And Meisei gets the win. So Macy comes out on top in this fierce battle against Dai A. Show. Dai A. Show loses for the second time. Macy scores his third win. What a match. Ono Show is also six wins and one loss. 
His day eight foe is Nishikigi. A quick, strong charge by Omosho, but Nishiki stops the charge. Nishiki hits a left and inside, goes forward, and he dispatches Omosho with the sheer power. What a power displayed by Nishikigi, and Omosho goes down for the second time. Nishikigi advances to 5 and 3. All right, Aoyama from Bulgaria entered day 8 at just one loss. Azumari from Mongolia challenged him. Aoyama pushes. Azumari holds his ground. Azumari goes for a slap down and Aoyama dives and goes down for the second time. Azumari defeats Aoyama. Aoyama bites the dust and he goes to 6 and 2. Azumari is also 6 wins and 2 losses after 8 days. Last but not least, Here's Koto Shoho at 6 and 1 going up against the roly poly Chiomaru. Nice pass, Tachiya by Koto Shoho. Koto Shoho goes after Chiomaru. Chiomaru escapes, but Chiomaru does 360, but he's unable to do anything offensively, and Koto Shoho pretty much shuts him down. Koto Shoho advances to 7 wins and 1 loss. Now, here's how things stack up after eight days. Taka Keisho and Koto Shoho are the co-leaders, each with seven wins and one loss. Six men are right behind those leaders with six wins apiece. At the end of day eight, we asked Nishiiwa Oyakata, who is former Sekiwake Wakano Sato, about his impression of the New Year's tournament and also his prediction for the upcoming week. Hello, small fans. I'm Nishiwa. すごくまあ混沌としてまして、6日目を終えた時点で全勝力士がいなくなりました。後半戦のまあ期待そして予想お願いします。え、あの期待は高景勝ですね。やはりここまで3場所連続で平幕力士が優勝してますので、そろそろ